Okay, now we want to provide a way for our users to sign up for an account. And the first thing we're going to do is create a user model uh, and controller. And it's really easy to do that with sales. Just type sales generate user. And now we have our user model and controller. Let's take a look at the code. So here's the user model and the user controller. And so we need to start fleshing that out for our sign-up page. And sales gives you the flexibility of taking different approaches to early stage development of your model. In a previous sales cast, I went over one approach, which was just to start the server and as a convenience, go directly into the browser and start creating attributes for our model. We're going to take a little bit different approach and that is we're going to go in and set attributes and a schema um, directly in our model. So in a sign up page I guess we want the name of the person that might be good. That'll be a type string and let's say their illustrious title And we'll have an email address here, and that'll be of type string. And we're going to deal with passwords. So I'll have uh, an encrypted password here, and that'll be of type string. So one of the advantages of going ahead and having a schema is that we can start validating the data. So for name, I'm going to have required equals true. I'm going to have to have a name when you save a record. And for email, there's some special validations for string, uh, email being one of them. So if I put email is equal to true, then there's going to have to be a valid email address when the record gets saved or when the model gets saved. And I'm going to go ahead and require it to be around. And if I could spell required. Um, and I also want it to be unique. OK, let's give those a try. I'm going to go ahead and start the server. And we will create. Let's say Earl Nathan and my, you know what, let's just put in that and see if the record gets created. And nope, it's going to give me um, some errors here because the email doesn't, wasn't in. Um, it's not a true email address and it's definitely not unique. So let's go back in here and put in a valid email address. And there we go. So we have Earl Nathan, I at I.com. So now that we have a model, we'll create a form that will capture all that data and then tie it all together with a controller. So let's go back into the code. And under views, we're going to create a new folder that corresponds to the controller, the user controller. We call it user. And we're going to create a new file. And this is where our new form is going to be. So I'm just going to put user sign up form just as a placeholder. And I'm going to save this as new.ejs. And new.ejs, the new, is going to be the action that's going to be within the user controller. So let's go into the user controller and I can create this action and all I want it to do when we hit uh, user slash new is just to return the view in this case new.ejs and let's do that so now let's go ahead and load the server And 
we'll go back to the home page. And now when I click sign up, I get that user sign up form. But how did we get that without creating a route? How did we map user new, that new action to the user controller without a route? Well, Sales has got this concept of blueprints. So we're gonna go back into the code and we're gonna go to routes. And again, all the only route we have right now is to static index. But for the purpose of this screencast, what uh, blueprints are doing for you is they're taking every RESTful action, so create, read, update, and destroy, and those actions are automatically mapped for you. That's another advantage of continuing with RESTful conventions in our app. So now let's go back to our sign up form, and I'm going to populate this with the actual sign up HTML. And I also made a few changes to our custom CSS. I added some color variables as well as some styling particular to this form. So let's reload or refresh up the browser. And now we have a, a better looking form here. So in the next screencast, we're gonna hook this sign up page to the create action through our controller and our model. Thanks for watching.